What's going on, you guys? Reaction video to Spence Uga's final press conference. It's the final press conference before the big showdown this weekend. And both guys look to be good. Looks good. Usually when we have guys who are quote-unquote big or welterweights, I, I tend to look at how these guys look um, the week of the fight. Both guys look good. Based off what I can see, both guys look pretty good going to this fight. Um, after the weigh-ins tomorrow, be sure to stop in for the live tomorrow. Um, after the weigh-ins, we go talk about it, and um, we'll give our final predictions on, on who's going to win this fight this weekend. But the overall reaction to the press conference, it was it was an okay press conference. It was what I expected uh, from both guys. You know, not, no trash talk or nothing like that. Um, Errol Spence, um, in his monotone nature, um, really laid back and, you know, um, kind of, you know. And then you did this Ugas. And all that. So, yeah, I expected that's every, everything that happened. I expected there's nothing, nothing dramatic. We we going into this thing. We didn't expect no animosity or no big show. Um, being put in front of these dudes and nothing like that, man. There's a lot of respect there between these guys. But one thing I did notice that Eudenis Ugas looked like he might be a little bit bigger than Errol Spence Jr. One thing Keith Thurman did say is that Errol, um, Eudenis Ugas is a big welterweight. And he is a big welterweight. He is a big welterweight. And this is something that I've been telling you guys for a while. Eudenis Ugas, man, he's going to be the biggest guy. This is that Sean guy from Fight Hype said, like, is he going to be the biggest guy that you fought? You know, like the biggest, you know. Well, like, yeah, he is, you know. Errol Spence... Let's be honest, people have been fighting a lot of smaller guys um, up to this point. So, Udinis Ugas, he, even though he has fought at a smaller weight classes, um, he is a, definitely a bigger welterweight. Um, but, yeah, the, um, that could mean anything. I mean, that can mean everything or it can mean nothing at all. Going to this fight, Errol Smith Jr. looks good. Um, it's going to be a battle of the trainers who will be able to make the adjustments for the fighters if it's a chess match, if it's a dog fight, who's going to be able to outwill each other. And, uh, yeah, we're going to give our final predictions tomorrow. So be sure to stop in for the live tomorrow, um, 4 p.m. or 5 p.m. Um, um, Central Standard Time, right? So, yeah, be sure to stop in for that uh, reaction video. Everything happened what I expected. Nothing, nothing spectacular happened. Um, the fight, the act, question about Terrence Crawford, guys, they don't really want to look over, overlook each other going into this thing. Um, talking about Terrence Crawford. One thing I did notice, I see a lot of fans mentioning, we want Crawford, we want Crawford. Salute to my boy, Uppercut Boxing Nation. I'll go subscribe and go check out Uppercut Boxing Nation. And yeah, um, that's it, man. We go, we go check it out tomorrow. Be sure to stop in for the live. Like, subscribe. Hodge your boy. Peace out.